people i hope you are doing good uh, my name is ahmed and uh, today we are going to start a new session uh, it's about unity conversion uh, uh, and i hope uh, you will like it uh, it's very easy and simple you just need to concentrate and let us start again unit uh, conversion okay we have mainly have three systems um, F P S S I unit system international and C G S. Our main focus will be this one, uh, but uh, in chemical engineering, this is mainly used in old textbooks, and this is sometimes used. Okay. Okay. So now. The FPA system it has three things okay foot pound and second the second is common in everyone in the all three systems the CGS is grams this for the mass and the centimeter for the foot and the second is still the same and the SI unit that's the kg for the mass and the meter for the distance the second is still the same for the time okay okay now how do we convert these things okay let me just tell you one more thing which is a bit important i guess as we all know force okay force that we will discuss later on because it's a little complicated okay let's convert some mm, some okay let's Let's convert something. Okay, let's convert. Let's see, let's see, kg to second. I mean, grams. Then from gram to pound. Okay. Let us take. Uh, let's take five kg. Okay. The trick is very simple. The trick is very simple. Okay. So, uh, to in order to convert a uh, five kg to grams, then two pounds, it's very very simple. Okay. The first we need the first thing we need to do is let us write over here five kg. Is to get rid of this kg. And to get grams. Right. So. There are some things you have to learn, which are very important. Uh, these are things you have to learn. You will get this table from the PDF or books and even Google it. So the conversion factor for is the kg to gram this. One kg gives us thousand grams. In order to explain that, yeah, 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 this is it, okay. So, we write here 5 kg. Remember, there are things like this 5 divided by 5. This out cancels out, right? So, in order to cancel this kg, we should know that kg comes here, right? Or over here, you can say this. Yeah, let's drop it off. Uh, kg. So, that is kg and kg cancels out, right? But uh, in mathematics, we know that if we do multiply or divide, we have to do it together. We can't multiply a certain thing and uh, just get it. Then we can get any any amount, any quantity we want. Okay. So if if we multiply anything, we have to divide it as well, right? So let's let's get these things out clear. So just like this. this okay. There's a kg. Okay. See. So. To convert it in order to convert it into grams over here comes the kg 
or here comes the ground all right we know that these both are not same right so in order to make them same we, we know that one thousand grams is equal to one kg okay so thousand grams is equal to one kg this means that kg is equal to kg this is for just for uh, understanding okay this okay just for inter uh, understanding okay just, we can either write k thousand grams or or one kg that's the same thing this means this thing is exactly the same so we can cancel the kgs out and we multiply the grams it's cow it's the answer comes out to be 5000 grams okay now we have to convert this 5000 grams into pound right see thing is we know that one kg is equal to thousand grams this is the way i have learned it uh, you can uh, you can get, get the direct conversion from the from pound to gram and i know that one kg is equal to 2.2 .2 pounds lb okay there's a there's a little bit more value but uh, just let it be like thanks for just for understanding okay so i will be taking it to a like uh, a long scale you can get a, a direct conversion from the grams uh, to pounds okay from the google or any book okay so, so five thousand grams so what did I told you? Tell you that grams comes down, okay, and kg comes up. See, now basically we want kg. Why we want kg? So that we can convert this kg into pounds, okay. Uh, you will understand it once I'll I complete it. Okay. So the next thing is that we have to convert this kg into pounds, right? So right away kg into pound. See, just see what see over here. One kg is equal to thousand grams, and one kg is equal to two point two pounds. Okay. So one kg over here, thousand grams. We know that, right? So that this grams and grams get cancelled. Cancel it down. And one kg is equal to two point two pounds. Right? This kg and this kg get, get cancelled out. Okay. So we are left with this three zeros cancel with three zeros. And get five point five multiplied by two point two pounds. It gives out to be the answer it goes out to be eleven pound. Now just let's take this to a for the next level. Okay, so let us see force is equal to mass into acceleration. Okay. In CGS, uh, the base unit of this is kg meter per second square. Everyone knows this one. The unit of this one is like uh, meter per second square. This one is kg. Okay. The derived unit for SI units for SI unit. The SI, the CGS, and this is the SPS. Okay. Uh, yeah. So for the SI unit, it's called as Newton, N E W T O, and just ignore the spellings. CGS called Dines, and for FPS, it's called Pound Force. <sighs> now here things get a little tricky. Uh, you need to have a Great look on this one to, in order to understand. See, 
let's convert uh, for example we have a, uh, mm, let us first compare uh, let's ignore the dines for now we will discuss in, in this one in the next any any other sentence because we really don't use dines in uh, in um, in chemical engineering then for the viscosity uh, viscosity cases when we, we for which the conversion factor is easily available okay let us take us newton and pound four okay basically one pound four four point four four eight something okay let's end now let's begin okay we know that this for the this unit is for mm, the force, right? So one uh, LBF is equal to pound pound multiplied by gravitational force. Over here, the gravitational force will be in definitely in foot pound system. Which is equal to thirty two point okay thirty two point this one thirty two point one seven okay fit second square okay yeah done so one pound force is equal to thirty two point one seven pound Fit second square okay now in order to convert this one to newtons like uh, so uh, in, order, in, in order to convert it to newtons what can we do is one pound force is equal to we know that pound should be in kg and the fit should be in meters right so that will become as kg meter per second square right So one pound force is equal to thirty two point one seven pound pound fit second square. First we will convert this pound. Okay. So in order to convert this pound, the pound should be down, and and the kilogram should be up because we have to cancel this pound from this pound. Okay. So one kg is equal to two point two pounds, right? Next step is to to convert this fit. Okay, so the fit should be down and the meter should be up. The conversion is for the meter to fit is fit is one meter is equal to three point. Uh, it's roughly about I think three point two feet. Yeah, three two point two eight feet. Okay, something like that. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Okay, you can cancel it out. Okay, so after calculating in the in the in the, in the calculator, what it comes out to be thirty two point one seven multiplied by one divided by thirty three point two eight multiplied by two point two. It's roughly about four point four five eight newtons. Since you didn't this is in the calculator later. So it is giving me us a round off number. If you would just check in the Google, it will just give you four point four eight, and it's a very long number. Yeah, it's like four point four eight two two one six, and it's up to so on. Okay. So yeah, you can also convert it in, in, into dyne. There's a if there's a direct conversion factor for this. You know that one newton is equal to. Um, yeah. One into ten to raise to five, dime. So the the last mission comes out to be one into ten to raise to five, dime. Is equal to one newton. Okay, and the one newton is equal to one over four point four. Four four eight pound. 
pulse. This is our relation. Uh, don't get confused about this uh, because we know that uh, let me tell you one thing more here one pound four is equal to 4.448 newton just put this down over here so it becomes one over 4.48 four four eight is also equal to Point two two four three. Okay. Pound force. Okay. So then our net result is. Let us think. The video is too long, but uh, try to be patient and see this through this out. It will be very much easy for you to understand. Ten to raise power five dime is equal to one newton, which is equal to two two four three pound force. Okay, this is the relation. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Um, uh, our next video will be coming shortly. Stay tuned and Allah. Hafiz.